Despite claiming no direct involvement, there are still ethics concerns around President Trump's ties to his business. Here to comment are the co-CEOs of the Trump Organization, Eric and Donald Trump Jr. Thanks for having us, Colin. It's great to have you. Yeah. Now, now many people, myself included, have concerns that your father could use his position to help his former business. Yeah, I know. You mentioned that on the golf course last weekend when I was beating you by nine strokes. You got to work on your short game, pal. I know. But Eric and I did have a blast. I drove the golf car. Yeah. Yeah. Sure did, Eric. Remember, I told you this, pal, man. Remember? It's golf cart. Golf cart, not car. Cart with a T. T. There you go. <laughs> Colin, the Trump Organization is entirely in our hands. In fact, Eric and I recently celebrated the grand opening of a new Trump golf course in Dubai, which, Colin, was a smash success. I got a sunburn. <laughs> That's because you didn't want to wear your hat. It doesn't fit. I told you, bud, you can change the size with the little snaps on the back. That's why they have those. <laughs> we also cut the ribbon, the beautiful new Trump luxury hotel in Vancouver, Canada. And Colin, the chef we got in Vancouver is absolutely amazing. He crushed the menu. The food is next level. I had a funny face pancake. <laughs> he had whipped cream's hair. Yeah, and he ate the whole thing. I'm hungry. All right. I got some Cheerios for you, buddy. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm glad your business is doing well. Uh, that doesn't actually answer any questions about your father's involvement in the business. I'm sorry. All right, got a juice for you. The fact of the matter is, Colin, all the deals coming to fruition now were in place far, far before my father, Eric, Eric, let me do it. Let me do it. Eric, Eric, come on, man. Don't just stab it. You're making a mess, man. Look, insert straw here, right? First of all, you're not using the pointy end. Sorry. Oh, Eric. what I do? You just gotta, okay. Eric, I don't want to make a mess, right? There you go. Yeah, good. You guys got it. Figure it out. That's my brother. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> he's good. That's great. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Call it bottom line. The only people making decisions. You down that quick, bud? Look at you. You're a thirsty little guy. Uh -huh. The only people making decisions regarding the Trump Organization are Eric and myself. A uh, dad. No, no. <laughs> Remember. No, no. Remember, Eric? Dad does not tell us what to do anymore. Yeah, he does. Hey, you want to play, uh, you want to play on my phone, bud? Yeah. There you go. Uh, Eric's a little jokester. Uh, what he meant to say was the only people calling the shots at the Trump Organization are myself and this guy. I'm tired. Yeah, he's going to get cranky. We got to get him home. Okay, so it's quick bath, jammies, then bed. Okay, can Colin sleep over? Not tonight, bud. Aww. Aww. Eric and Donald Trump, everyone. Oh, I know. Good. Good. It was revealed that a church in North Carolina forced married couples to wait a year before having sex, which means the something blue at their wedding was balls. <laughs> For the first time in 146 years, it has not snowed in Chicago during the months of January and February. Or all the snowflakes were shot before they reached the ground. <laughs> well, I'm worried about this one. All right. A new investigation has revealed that Subway's chicken contains only about 50% chicken DNA. Though that's pretty much best case scenario for a DNA swab at Subway. <laughs> That's a harsh joke, Colin. That's... Anyway, March is Women's History Month, while April is a lot of backed up dishes. <laughs> it was revealed that the upcoming live action version of Beauty and the Beast will feature the first gay character ever in a Disney movie. The first gay character? I mean, come on. <laughs> 
gave a mermaid a vagina. Anyway, a theater in Alabama has already refused to show this version of Beauty and the Beast because in Alabama, gay characters have no place in a children's musical about bestiality. <laughs> I know when I found out Mr. Hands was gay, that really took me out of the video. <laughs> what Alabama bigot is watching a lady make out with a Bigfoot and thinking, you know what's taking me up out of this uh, cartoon is that fruity ass candle. <laughs> The pizza chain Famous Familia, which is opening a store in Ghana, will ship New York City water to the African country to make their pizza taste authentic. Said Ghana, wait, you could have shipped us water this entire time? <laughs> Guys. A British songwriter is suing you too, claiming that the band stole one of his songs. Though I don't like the songwriter's chances because his lawyer is working pro bono. <laughs> He insisted on telling that. <laughs> it's time once again for our Newscasters of Tomorrow segment, where a kid joins us to give the news from their perspective. So please welcome kid actress Laura Parsons. Hello, Michael. What a thrill it is to be here. News, talking about news. They say that it's fake, but that's just how That was, that's adorable. <laughs> Laura, you're an actress. Did you watch the Oscars? Of course I did. It was so exciting. City of stars, oh, you're shining just for me. <laughs> that's how people sing in Hollywood. Yeah, very good. Uh, <laughs> so did you see any of the winning movies? Well, I didn't see Moonlight. My mother says it's too grown up for me. But I know it featured brilliant performances, amazing cinematography, and a seaside hand job. Well, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you should be saying that. I mean, where did you even hear, hear that term? Like, where did you learn that? Well, someone wrote it on the wall of our school bathroom. Speaking of school bathrooms, Trump just rolled back rights of transgender students to use the bathroom of their choice. Isn't that terrible? Yes, that's right. But do you know exactly what that issue was about? I think so. Some people think you should choose which bathroom you use based on your gender identity. But the government wants to lift up your skirt and chuck for ding dongs. Laura. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> Laura, do you even know what transgender means? I think so. It's when you look down at your privates and say, Why I oughta? No. Oh, well, let's, let's, um, yeah, let's talk about something that's not even news. <laughs> have you seen any good TV shows? I sure have. Do you like prank shows, Michael? Not really. Well, I do. I love all kinds of pranks, except last week when a woman was tricked into spraying Kim Jong-un's half-brother with nerve toxin. Well, how do you even know? The prank was murder! <laughs> Laura, I feel like I say this a lot, but uh, let's talk about something way lighter, okay? What about something from your life? Well, I'm going to visit my grandparents soon. Oh, that's very nice. Luckily, they live in a beautiful condo and not one of the thousands of nursing homes that's been cited for elder abuse and sexual assault. Laura. You might want to Google 